policies that emphasize national sovereignty and the rule of law, are increasingly branded as extreme or radical by those on the left, underscoring a profound ideological rift in the United States. This divide is fueled by conflicting views on citizenship, responsibility, and the role of government, which contribute to the heated debates over the nation's current social and political crises. Okay, but Project 2025 goes much, much farther than that. People can agree that you should be able to control your border. But not only does Project 2025 aim to close the border and to militarize the border, it aims to use every lever of government to find, detain, and deport undocumented people, going so far as to take funding and housing away from people who are just associated with undocumented immigrants. Look at this rec uh, recommendation. It's uh, to the Department of Education on page 167. It wants the Department of Education to, quote, deny loan assistance to those who are not U.S. citizens or lawful permanent residents and deny loan access to students at schools that provide in-state tuition to illegal aliens. We don't use that word. That's their language. But let me just tell you, this is crazy. Project 2025 wants to take away student loan eligibility for students with legal status or who might be American citizens who simply attend a school that might confer financial and tuition benefits upon undocumented immigrants. There's more. Project 2025 wants to bar U.S. citizens from qualifying for federal housing if they live with anyone who is not a U.S. citizen or legal permanent resident, specifically calling out mixed status families. It wants to force states to share driver's licenses and taxpayer identification information with federal authorities in order to find undocumented individuals and threaten to revoke critical funding to states that don't comply. It wants to use uh, data from FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency data, to enforce immigration control. I mean, think about that. You're an undocumented immigrant and a hurricane comes your way. You go to FEMA to, to get uh, temporary housing and then you get swept up into, into the federal immigration system. Data that is supposed to be used for major disasters. It wants to bring back child and family detention and increase the national capacity for those detentions. Project 2025 is seen as a reflection of core values like sovereignty, the rule of law, and the prioritization of American citizens' needs. By focusing on denying loan assistance to non-citizens and holding states accountable for policies that benefit illegal immigrants, this initiative is likely to be viewed favorably by those who see it as a fair approach to resource allocation. It supports the idea that citizenship comes with both privileges and responsibilities, arguing that it's not extreme for governments to put their citizens first. While MSNBC and similar outlets might portray phrases like militarize the border and deny loan assistance negatively, proponents argue these measures are simply common sense essential for maintaining order and national sovereignty. Ali Velshi's criticism could be interpreted as a socialist tendency to resist enforcing the rule of law, seen by some as an overreaction to policies aimed at protecting the country's borders and resources. Project 2025 is framed as a pragmatic response to the genuine challenges posed by illegal immigration and its strain on public resources. The proposed policies are viewed as a candid recognition of the difficult choices necessary to preserve the nation's integrity and support its people. The project's approach highlights the balance between individual freedom and social responsibility, suggesting that its policies represent a necessary and measured response. Opposition to these policies may arise from an unwillingness to confront the tough realities of governance. Decisions that must be made to protect the public interest, even on the media's portrayal of Project 2025, might be seen as a calculated effort to cast reasonable policies as radical, using charged language and selective outrage, a form of gaslighting intended to skew public perception and stir up fear and confusion about policies meant to ensure fairness and security for American citizens. This strategy, however, could backfire. As public distrust in mainstream media grows, such portrayals may actually reinforce the belief that these policies are not just necessary, but justified, strengthening public support for Project 2025.